everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really awesome today so we're going to be talking about what is going on across the north atlantic so we have whatever is left of france sea and making its way still through parts of the u.s bringing along with it some rainfall activity there is a tropical wave in the caribbean as well as a disturbance so that is bringing a lot of showers and thunderstorms to parts of the leeward islands and we're going to talk more about that there's tropical depression 7 out there as well and a new tropical wave south of the Cabo Verde Islands. So we're going to be looking at what's going on. And here we are switching to the graphical tropical weather outlook. So post-tropical cyclone Francine. So as of earlier this morning, it is located over Arkansas. As I said, still bringing some rain through parts of the United States. Eventually, it's going to be dissipating though. We see that area highlighted off the southeastern states. Now, that is where an airflow pressure could form a non-tropical area of low pressure. However, while it's going to be loitering there, it may try to get itself together and acquire some tropical characteristics. And that could actually allow it to maybe develop into something, whether a tropical or post or a subtropical cyclone, rather. So as of right now, there is a 30% chance of that happening. And there is the disturbance, which is headed to the Caribbean. Well, it's entering the Caribbean right now as I speak. So it is in, uh, unleashing all of that heavy rainfall and even gusty winds in parts of the Leeward Islands, as I mentioned. And Tropical Depression 7 is out there. Still expected to become Tropical Storm Gordon eventually. So... Let's zoom into the Caribbean on the satellite imagery. Here we can see this blob of rain and thunderstorms associated with the uh, disturbance which has made its way into the area. And you can let me know what's been happening for you. So exactly that area such as Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Ceiba, St. Stacia, St. Guila, St. Martin and St. Bartholomew have been experiencing some rainfall, even Guadeloupe as well. But then further south, we see some clusters of rain here and there. So maybe for Grenada, the Grenadines as well, uh, a passing shower or so elsewhere in the Lesser Antilles. So that's what's going on. Pretty wet morning for some persons. And there is some moisture as you drift even more into the Caribbean near the ABC Islands and uh, near Jamaica as well. So there is a tropical wave which is in the area. And that will be helping out to enhance the rainfall today so some areas could receive a lot of heavy rain and with a lot of heavy rain we know that there's going to be that risk of flooding so let's get straight to the rainfall forecast here we can see it the more colorful the map is that is indicative of more rainfall activity so starting out with the bahamas and turks and caicos there's likely to be some showers and thunderstorms around for some places today not guaranteed for all the islands in the archipelago but then as we head towards parts of cuba as well as uh, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, there's likely to be some pretty heavy downpours within some areas today. Similar thing likely for uh, Haiti and even parts of the Dominican Republic. Again, a tropical wave is moving by, so it's going to help out to enhance the rain. The ABC Isles could also see some shower and thunderstorm activity nearby. And as I said, that disturbance is enhancing the rain for parts of the Leeward Islands. So the Leeward Islands and eventually for the Virgin Islands, maybe even Puerto Rico could experience some downpours from the system. Elsewhere, scattered showers and thunderstorms about. Northern South America for the Guyanas, there could be some downpours as well. Not going to be as dry compared to the past couple of days. Well, maybe for some areas, but others may experience some increased rainfall. And as we head to Venezuela, we see a little bit more color popping up. So maybe just over an inch, inch and a half uh, or so of rainfall. And it is a similar story for Colombia. Central America, some scattered showers and thunderstorms will be loitering about. As the afternoon thunderstorms develop, sometimes the winds will really kick up. But overall, through today, it is likely to be a little bit windy in parts of the eastern Caribbean, so over the ABC Islands, and even parts of the Lesser Antilles. With that disturbance passing by through the Leeward Islands, winds are going to be kicking up. But elsewhere, wherever we have those thunderstorms forming, the winds will kick up as well. Now, with the tropical disturbance which is entering the Caribbean, it is only given a 20% chance of development. So. The environment isn't highly conducive or ideal right now to really allow it to get itself together. So you can see it is a very tiny area. So regardless of though, it is going to be producing locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds throughout today across the northern leeward islands so that is what the national hurricane center states and now we want to go ahead and talk about our tropical uh depression out there so tropical depression seven as i said it is still expected to become gordon however the environment 
isn't the most favorable for it either so it is going to intensify rather slowly we can see that s that shows tropical storm intensity so maybe as we head into later today it may acquire tropical storm status but then it may weaken back to a depression why there is a wall of dry air ahead of it so let's look at that real quickly we can see all these shadings of yellows oranges and reds that is indicating the dry air and the more vibrant the shading is the higher the concentration so it's going to be moving around into this and that is going to be helping out to keep things very limited in terms of the intensity and even allow the system to weaken so it may acquire tropical storm status weaken back to a depression but then but then as it moves into an environment that may be a little bit more conducive that it may re-strengthen and a turn to the north is expected so with the area of high pressure out there being that it's placed a bit further to the east or not being so strong then this is going to have the opportunity to curve up and out so it doesn't look as though it is going to be a threat to land over the course of the next week Nonetheless, I'll keep you guys updated on it. And in the eastern Pacific, there is one active tropical storm which recently developed, Tropical Storm Ileana. So Ileana is just offshore the southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula, and it is going to be moving in and thus has prompted a tropical storm warning for the southern Baja California Peninsula. Further north, highlighted in yellow, is a tropical storm watch in effect. So even though much strengthening is not expected of Ileana, it is likely to bring a lot of heavy rainfall which may trigger flooding. Uh, in parts of northwestern Mexico, there could be rainfall amounts up to 12 inches in total over the next few days. And for the southern Baja, probably up to 8 inches in total. So definitely flood trigger and rainfall. So if you're being affected by the skies or if you're to be affected, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe. And do not take any unnecessary risks. So that is what is going on, guys. One active tropical cyclone in the eastern Pacific. And we have two in the North Atlantic, although Francine is going to be off the map very soon but depression 7 is out there fortunately not a problem for anyone and then there are those two disturbances one in the caribbean not expected to develop and we could see one try to get itself together offshore the southeastern states but that is it for right now that is what i wanted to share with you in terms of what is going on in the tropics and of course i'm here to keep you guys posted at all times so i do hope you found this updated video to be informative but if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments i will respond to you when i have the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise.